Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Learn Biology in Easy Way. In this video, I am going to discuss comparison between mitosis and meiosis. In case of mitosis, mitosis occurs in all somatic cells of an individual, but meiosis occurs in the germ cells like cells of the testis or ovaries during the process of gametogenesis. In mitosis, each DNA replication cycle is followed by one cell division. The resulting daughter cells have a diploid number of chromosomes. The whole process completes in two successive divisions which occur one after the other. The resulting four daughter cells are haploid. In mitosis, each chromosome behaves independently, but in meiosis, there is pairing of homologous chromosomes. In mitosis, the genetic material remains constant, but in meiosis, there is genetic variability. Mitosis lasts 1 to 2 hours, but meiosis lasts longer. In the male, it may last for about 24 days and several years in the females. Prophase Prophase is of shorter duration and has no substages. But in meiosis, the prophase 1 is of longer duration and includes 6 successive stages proleptotin, leptotin, zygotin, pachytin, diplotin, and diakinesis. In case of mitosis, the homologous chromosomes duplicate into two chromatids. These chromatids separate and form new chromosomes. Each daughter cell receives the daughter chromosomes or chromatids of each homologous and thus having the chromosome number like the parental cells. But in case of meiosis, out of the two homologous chromosomes, only one type of chromosome, either maternal or paternal, moves to the daughter cells. A daughter cell thus receives only a maternal or paternal chromosome of the homologous pair and the number is half than that of the parental cell. In case of mitosis, no synapses, crossing over or exchange of genetic material takes place. But in case of meiosis, synapses between homologous chromosomes occurs. Chiasmata formation or crossing over takes place and exchange of genetic material also takes place between the non-sister chromatids of homologous chromosomes. In mitosis metaphase, the chromatids occur in the form of diets, but in meiosis Metaphase, the chromatids of the two homologous chromosomes occur in the form of tetrads. In mitosis, the centromeres of the chromosomes remain directed towards the equator and the arms towards the poles. But in meiosis, the centromeres of the chromosomes remain directed towards the poles and the chromosomal arms remain directed towards the equator. Anaphase, the chromosomes have single chromatid in mitosis. But the chromosomes have two chromatids and single centromere in meiosis. The chromosomes are usually long and thin in mitosis, but the chromosomes are short and thick in meiosis. In telophase, telophase always occurs in mitosis, but telophase 1 is sometimes omitted in meiosis. Thank you.